Starting your own business is like a dream that everyone has. It's like waking up every morning and doing what you absolutely love. But unfortunately, only few of us do really become business owners. Most of us will never leave the comfort zone of being an employee. For those who are absolutely serious about finally quitting your job and turning your business idea into a reality, here are 5 things to consider before you start. Because starting a business isn't really as great as it sounds. First, business is not fun. A lot of people have absolutely wrong idea about running your own business. It's not what you see in movies, it's not fun at all. In fact, it's absolutely boring. And in the process, you will often meet so many assholes that you wish you hadn't started this business in the first place. When I entered into the real estate business, I was super excited. But as soon as I started renting apartments, I have came across people that I wish I didn't. I can make a hundred hour video just talking about what kind of stupid people I met just in the first few months of the business. It was more like a hell than fun. If you do not develop your social skills, if you do not learn how to be patient and control your anger and stress, you will be out of business in no time. Yes, of course, there are some great moments in business, especially when you just get your first deal. But these are just moments that happen rarely, when you hit a certain milestone or finally achieve that goal, but most of the times you will be faced with a lot of boring work. Secondly, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. There is a common misconception that if you want to start a business, you have to come up with something absolutely new and unique, which is not true at all. In fact, chances are that your new idea might fail or higher than you think. The best way to start a business, especially when you are just a beginner, is to take an existing business idea that seems to be working successfully, add to it your own flavor and kick it out. Because this business idea is already proven, all what you need to do is to put the hard work and you will most likely succeed. That's why you find most tech companies follow the path of Apple. Since Apple is the leader of its industry, they can take the risk to test something new, but other small players can't afford that risk. That's why it's only when Apple launched iPhone X with that notch, other tech companies quickly copied. Thirdly. You don't need a lot of money to start a business. It's not a news that businesses need a lot of cash to survive. You have got to pay the rent, salaries to your employees and bunch of other bills. But that usually happens when the business is proven to be successful. Most small businesses do not need a lot of money to be started, especially if it's an online business. What is required in the beginning of the business is the hard work to get it to the point where it will start generating income. When I started this YouTube channel, for example, I have invested something around 120 bucks just to buy a mic and that's all. Don't scare yourself with the idea that you should first save hundreds of thousands of dollars before you start. Remember, in the beginning, you are the manager, you are the salesman, you are the lawyer, you are the accountant, you are everything that business needs. That's how you start a business with minimum expenses. What matters only are the results. I guess the main reason why most businesses fail in the beginning is because people give up when they put so much effort and don't get anything in return. As an employee, you have a logical understanding of how you make money. The more hours you work, the harder you work, the more you must be paid. And if you're not paid enough, there is no point of working harder. But that logic doesn't really apply to business. Let me tell you a secret. In business, your clients do not really give a damn about how hard you work. What matters at the end of the day is if you are getting results. Some people complain that, look, I have put 20 hours to make this video, but no one is watching it. YouTube is broken. It's unfair. And then they give up because they don't understand that in business, what matters are the results only. And lastly, ideas are worthless without execution. We all come up with ideas that might change the world. Everyone is good at dreaming and coming up with revolutionary ideas. People quickly overvalue their business because they think it's absolutely unique, not understanding that ideas are worthless if they're not turned into a reality. Never delude yourself that your business will succeed just because you've got a unique idea. Thousands of people probably came through that idea before you and your idea will worth more only if it's executed and proven that it actually works. The point wasn't to push you away from starting your business, but rather to encourage you and tell you a little bit of what you will face so that you get prepared. And now it's your turn. What business would you love to start? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video. And if you don't want to miss the next video, then hit the subscribe button and the bell besides it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.